Hi, in this video we are going to see about a Python IEEE project which is entitled as Oral Cancer Detection Using Deep Learning which is an announcement of IEEE base paper title Classification of Oral Cancer into Precancerous Stages from White Light Images Using Light GBM Algorithm which is an IEEE 2024 journal paper so before seeing the execution of the project let me brief about this project so we all know that cancer is one of the main reason for the human deaths all over the world especially 10 million deaths are being recorded in the year 2020 alone and this cancer affects the whole body and it leads to death or severe problem to the human organs and here the oral cancer ranks the sixth when compared to the other cancers that is available and especially in India this oral cancer is increasing day by day for the various reasons such as usage of tobacco cigarettes etc so this oral cancer is developed in the oral cavity like gums or the teeth under the tongue or the other parts that is available in the mouth so we need a scientific approach for identifying this oral cancer so that if it is treated yearly they can able to survey or they can able to treat yearly and they could recover from it so in this base paper, the authors have used light gradient boosting machine that is light GBM model for the detection of the oral cancer. Kindly note that we are not going to use the same as mentioned in the base paper. So now let us see about the our proposed system model. So we are going to use two different models, two separate models. So first one is ResNet 50. 152 v2 architecture and other one is mobile net architecture now coming to the accuracy resnet 152 v2 architecture achieved training accuracy of 98 percentage and validation accuracy of 93 percentage and the uh, mobile net architecture achieved training accuracy of 97 percentage and validation accuracy of 92 percentage so from the two distinct models we can come to know ResNet 152v2 architecture has achieved the more accuracy when compared to the other now coming to the data set point so here we are going to use the oral images so this oral images contains around 750 images we are going to use for the training purpose where 500 contains the oral cancer images and 250 contains the non-cancer oral images so now let me show you the data set uh, images that you are going to use for the training purpose so we have the cancer so these are the images so which have the cancer class so it is around 500 images so you can see the sample images all the images are about the oral cancer so these are the few images that is available in the cancer class and other class contains the non-cancer images which is around 250 images you can see those images here these are the few samples of the non-cancer class images so these are the images that we are going to use for the training part so now coming to the project abstract so this is the our proposed abstract so we are going to use python for the coding language and for the web framework we are going to use flask and the front end part contain the html css and javascript so as mentioned we'll be using resnet 152v2 and mobile net architecture and their accuracy has been mentioned here and the data set part that is mentioned about the 500 oral cancer images and 250 non-cancer images and those details have been summarized in the abstract part and coming to the existing system as we are going to take the IEEE base paper as existing one so in that base paper they have used light GBM as the 
existing model so those details about the existing system has been summarized here and here we have listed the disadvantages of the existing system and coming to the proposed system and the proposed system about the model the data set part and the, the the uh, accuracy values those details have been summarized in the proposed system part and here you can see the list of advantages of the proposed system so these are the advantages of a proposed system and here you can see the system architecture so we are going to give the input oral images data set which is around 750 images and pre-processing feature selection is made and we'll be selecting any of the model ResNet 1.5 to v2 architecture or mobile net architecture the predicted result will be oral cancer or non-cancer image and finally we'll be showing the performance analysis and graph so these are the system requirements hardware requirements and software requirements so this project can be executed in windows 10 or 11 coding language uses python 3.10.9 and web framework is flask and friend and back and html CSS and javascript and this is the reference of the IEEE base paper title so now let us see the execution of the project before execution make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned the requirements file with the exact version of the python or the library is installed in your system so now go into the source code location inside we have this oral cancer folder inside that we'll be having the app.py file so now let me type cmd here in the address bar so the command prompt window opens with the exact location of it so now type python app.py why and click enter and kindly wait for a few minutes so now you can see this URL just copy this URL go to any of your browser and go into Google Chrome paste it and click enter so now after some time you can see the home screen the welcome screen of the project with the project title oral cancer detection using deep learning so now you can see this login menu so just click this login menu it will be navigated to the login page kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and tick the login button so now you can see the login success message and click OK. So now it will be navigated to the preview part where you need to upload the image. So kindly note that here upload only the oral images in case if you are uploading some other images. So it will not predict the result properly. It will give the random result that is trained with the two classes cancer or non-cancer. So it does needed to provide only the images that we have trained with like oral cancer or non-cancer images the oral images in case if you are giving some other images that is not trained in the model with the oral cancer means it should be the similar as we have trained in the trained images so now let me select the file so now go into the source code location I'll just go to the test file and let me select an image from a case of cancer and here we have given the drop down for selecting the model you can select any of the model that is ResNet or MobileNet so whichever model you wanted you can select it first so now let me select the ResNet model for the first case and then click submit. So now you can see the prediction result. So you can preview the image what we have selected and also you can see the predicted result is cancer and the model that we have selected is ResNet. So the both have been displayed in the prediction part. So now if you wanted to check with other case just select the preview menu again so it will be navigated to the preview part. So now let me select some other image in the same class and now this time I will select the mobile net model and click submit. So now you can see the predicted result is cancer and the model that we have selected is mobile that has been displayed. So now let me go to the preview menu again. So now this time I will go to the other class and select an image. I will select the ResNet part and then click submit. So now you can see the predicted result is non-cancer and also the model that we have selected is ResNet is being displayed so now let me go to the preview part again I'll select some other image 
and select the mobile net model and click submit so now you can see the, the preview the image that we have selected and you can see the project result is non cancer the model that is selected is mobile it is being displayed so now let me go to the preview part so this time i'll just select some other image from the trained training folder so i'll just randomly so select the 500 images in the cancer label and non non cancer we have 250 images so now let me select an image randomly from this case and now i'll select the rest net for the first time and then click submit so now you can see the the image that we have selected and the picked result is cancer and the model that we have selected is rest net so now let me go to the preview part so now let me again select some other image uh, available and then select the model as mobile net and click submit so now you can see the picked result is cancer the model selected is mobile net and now I'll just select from the training part image of the non cancer part here we have 250 images I select from the image and then click the model as ResNet part and click submit and uh, here you can see this image is actually in uh, non cancer but it is labeled as cancer because uh, we have not got a hundred percent accuracy because one or one or two images it may label wrong also so this is the wrong prediction that is made so now let me select some other image just select this image and then select resnet and click submit and this result is also labeled as cancer part in the prediction part so now let me go to the preview part again i'll select some other image here and click submit and now you can see the predicted result is non-cancer the model that you have selected is resnet so now let me go to the preview part again in the training folder I'll select some image and select the model as mobile net and click submit so now you can see the printed result is non-cancer the model that is selected is mobile net so in this way you can check with the, all the cases that is available in the test and the train folder with the two different models and you can see the various results in it so now let me move to the performance analysis part so just click this performance analysis so in the performance analysis we will be seeing the performance analysis parameter like precision recall f1 score values for both the models of the resnet model and also the mobile app model so here first one we will see about the performance analysis for the resnet model which contains the precision recall f1 score for both the cases of the cancer and the non-cancerous part and here you can see the confusion matrix both for both the true and the predicted label of it <coughs> Here you can see the mobile net model, uh, performance analysis of the mobile net model which contains the precision recall and F1 score of it. And here you can see the, in the confusion matrix, you can see the confusion matrix for the two and the predicted label of the both the cases, cancer and non-cancerous. And finally we'll move to the chart part. So in the chart part we'll be having two charts, one with the accuracy score, another with the data set images that we have used pictorial representation of the data set that we have used so both are static charts only they are not dynamic chart because as mentioned earlier we are not using any database in the project so we cannot show any variations in it so this chart part is a static one so first chart contains the accuracy score of it so here we have achieved a resnet part achieved 93 percentage of accuracy score that has been depicted and mobile net part contain 92 percentage that has been represented in the first accuracy score chart and the next part contains the images that we are used for the training purpose so the data set images that we have used contain 60 percentage of cancer images and 40 percentage of non-cancer images so that has been represented pictorially here in the chart part and now let me log out and this is all about the project oral cancer detection using deep learning
and thank you for watching